Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Hector Diaz and today we're going to be going over the tool called Redline. And this tool is um, made and distributed by uh, FireEye. So we're just going to go ahead and um, jump straight into it. I'm currently on FireEye's um, free software Redline website. So um, along with a lot of other these other um, open source tools. Um, it requires a little bit of information before downloading. But before we download it, just to give you guys a quick snippet of what Redline is, um, as you can see here, it's um, a free endpoint security tool and it provides the host, you, the user, um, investigative abilities um, to find signs of malicious activity through memory and file analysis. Um, now, the really uh, a really cool thing about Redline is that it can collect all running processes and drivers from memory. Um, and notice how it says running. So you can run Redline on a on a live machine, which is which is awesome. And um, hopefully we'll get a we'll get a glimpse of that today. So. You'll start off by going ahead and just filling out this information and then clicking download. Um, once it is downloaded into your downloads folder, you'll go ahead and um, just go through the, the install setup, uh, the install wizard, I should say, as in, you know, with, uh, with many other applications, but I'm assuming you already know that. So we're just going to go ahead and, and skip that part and, um, and open up Redline um, interface. So as you guys can see, there's just not a whole lot going on here, um, which is what all, another thing I really like about this tool is that it's it's not very intimidating, but there's a lot that you can do with it, which we'll uh, try and get into as best we can. So right here under collect data, we see that there is a standard collector and a comprehensive collector. Um, so both are kind of the same thing, but they both do the same thing, but standard is, um, a lot more minimal. It collects, um, much, much less information that the comprehensive collector does. So we'll go ahead and just go with the comprehensive collector, right? Cause we can, um, you know, we can always pick and choose what data we want later rather than going with a standard collector and possibly not having enough data. And then the this create IOC search collector, that's if you want to do a, a custom uh, search collector, but we'll just stick with the comprehensive one. So as you can see, you can do this on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Um, this is Redline 2.0, which I believe is the one of the first uh, versions of Redline that you can you can do this on before it was only on Windows. So moving forward, um, here you can edit the script. So this is all the pre-checked information for the comprehensive collector. As you can see, we have a memory, disk, system tab, network, and other. So really quick, just to go through these. Um, um, so for the services, you can choose which encryptions, uh, or yeah, which encryption ha hashes you want to, um, you want to gather, um, some of the, the network stuff, um, this is very important for browser history, you know, do you want to get the cookies and, and things along that sort, uh, for the system, pretty basic information here, right, machine and OS information user accounts, I think we would all agree that those would be good, good stuff to have. And then just a whole lot that you can, that you can find with this uh, poten potentially. So um, yeah, there's a whole lot that you can do. And what we wanna do here is um, go ahead and click on acquire memory image and then click okay and that, as you can see, it clicks it right here as well. So moving forward, what we wanna do now is 
save our collector to a certain location. So before you do this, um, go ahead and just insert a blank USB drive. And once you do that, we'll go ahead and click on browse. And if it's truly blank, you won't see this collector, right? But in order for Redline to choose your USB drive, you will need to create an empty folder. So this folder actually isn't empty since I, um, I already, already did this, but I'll go ahead and make a new one and I'll call it collector two. And then we'll, you know, go ahead and choose the blank folder, select it and then click okay. And Redline is currently um, creating a folder of executable files on that, on that folder that I just created. So just in case this um, takes too long, I will just um, go ahead and let you know that you should be seeing a screen that says um, your, col your collector package is created and save to the location you specified. And then one of the files that you will see is going to be an executable called runredlineaudit.bat. So, oh, there it is. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Your collector package is created, ready to go, good stuff. And on the Windows machine, you want to audit, right? So the target machine, run this. So we'll go ahead and um, do exactly that. We'll pretend that my, my host machine is the target machine, right? So in a real world scenario, you would you know, take out the USB drive, go to your target machine, plug it in, and then you should see something like this. You go to collector two, right? Or your, your empty folder that was empty, but now contains all of this. And then you would run this run redline audit file. Okay. And then um, once you run that file, you will see a, a command prompt pop up. And that is going to take a, a good amount of time, probably around an hour, maybe more. Um, and the weird thing is that once it's completed, it doesn't say anything. It just completes and vanishes. But what you will see um, to know that it worked is you will go to that folder that you created and there will be a new folder called sessions, um, which is actually right here in the first, uh, first folder that I made before this video, as you can see, there's a, a sessions folder that was created once this happened uh, or once it went through. So you would go into the, into the folder until you see this analysis session one. And then we're gonna go ahead and open that up and uh, see, what, um, see what information we got from the target machine, right? So I know that was, uh, I kind of went kind of fast there. I apologize if, if I did, but going back a little bit, we, we inserted our USB into our target machine, right? And then we ran this run redline audit until it, until a command prompt uh, pops up and then disappears and we see this sessions folder. Once we see this sessions folder um, on the target machine, then we know that Redline has done its job and we can go ahead and take our information to our host machine um, and, and finally look at the, the information. So that's what, we, that's what we're doing now. So let's pretend that we went back to our host machine and we are um, looking at the information. So it says that it's um, preparing analysis session for loading. Okay. Um, 
Hopefully that doesn't take too long. I just um, opened it not too long ago. But I can, um, I can start explaining it while it loads. But pretty much it's going to um, give you a couple options as for, okay, these are the options I was uh, just referring to. These are the investigation type options. So um, for our for our case, we're going to go ahead and choose this one. I am investigating a host based on an external investigative lead. So we're going to go here and then um, we're going to go ahead and, and look at the the information that was um, that was gathered from from the red line. So um, the the machine that I tried this out on the first time was a virtual machine. So I think even though it was a virtual machine, it's it's still picking up the host machine, my machine's uh, processor, um, which is pretty pretty neat. Um, so as you can see here, I mean, it has the machine name, host name, um, processor type, and uh, things along that sort. And this is actually, it was a Cyber Patriot um, VM that I used for another class. And yeah, let's let's see what else we can um, we can see here. So here are some of the processes. Um, unfortunately, I, I'm not seeing any. Um, but usually, if it was a an active machine, I think maybe it's because the the virtual machine I, I, I used this tool on wasn't too active. I might be missing um, some of these, um, or this is. It seems to be loading something, so we'll try and come back to that. Um, but as you can see here, I mean, there's a, a you know file system of the the whole machine, and I mean, there is just tons and tons of of uh, information here. So let's let's see if we can't get a you know a better look at what kind of what kind of information comes from here. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's just, it has the whole, the whole path of the file, file name, the size, um, when it was created, when it was modified and, um, changed, so on and so forth. So let's just keep, um, you know, moving down. We have registry, um, windows services. I think users would be pretty interesting to look at. Um, as you can see, we have an administrator, um, Bruce Banner. So this was like an Avengers themed uh, virtual machine, uh, Cyber Patriot. And you can see the last login, um, SID, and I mean, just all this, all this very useful information, um, event logs tasks, um, okay, so the scoring engine was, was one of the tasks. Um, you can also look at the, the drives that were on here and things along that sort. Um, very interesting is this um, browser history, right? Like being able to look at what the user was, you know, searching on the inter internet can be very, uh, very useful in a, you know, cyber forensics um, environment. And as well as the cookie history, um, as you can see, we can see the cookie names and, you know, what what is drawing these cookies. So MSN being um, advertising um, file download history. Let's take a look at that and see what we got. So it looks like um, we downloaded a, a picture right here, as well as, you know, um, 
these JPGs um, and PNGs. So a lot of pictures, as you can tell, just pictures, pictures, pictures. And um, this timeline feature is actually pretty cool. Let's look at that. It, oh, if it pops up, but it pretty much um, puts the computers or the the drives information in a chronological order which can be um, you know useful in, in tracking recent events and everything and then if you wanted to make any tags or comments on anything that you just um, looked at then you could do so and find them here and yeah that's pretty much it for the tool um, very 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 useful and um, as you can see as you can see, um, you can do a lot with it, which is, like I said in the beginning, the from from first glance, it doesn't look like much, but you know, really getting into it, um, it's proven to be a very very useful and well-rounded tool. So I uh, hope that helped you uh, spark an interest in Redline, and uh, maybe you can try it on on your own virtual machines. And yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This is Hector. Peace out.